Alright guys, so today we're going to be doing something a little bit more different. Um, in the last couple of videos, we have shot stuff with my BB gun, the Red Rider BB gun. I actually like using it uh, on a daily basis, but this video is not going to be about the BB gun at all today. But instead, we're going to be playing with fire. Uh, today, we're going to be dealing with the torch candle, and then we're going to be spraying various types of liquids on it to see what kind of chemical reaction we can get out of it. Uh, First one, we got the tire and wheel cleaner. Uh, this is used for vehicles uh, to clean your tires, clean your wheels on your vehicles. Uh, there is a lot of chemicals in this, but we'll see what kind of flame and or sprays you can get out of it. We got the peelable uh, coating, which is sprayed on the tires or anything on the vehicle, which can be peeled off later in the future if you don't like it. Uh, this is a Roundup. Um, you spray this on your plants or any weeds that you don't want on your garden or in your lawn. So we're going to see what kind of chemical reaction we can get out of this. We got the Umbra, which is, this is a duck cleaner, which can be sprayed into your vents in your vehicle. If you have any bad smelling or any odors that can be coming out of your vents, this could definitely clean it up for sure. And uh, I feel like when it comes to vent cleaners or duck cleaners, we could definitely get some sort of reaction when it comes to spraying it at the torch candle. And then we got the raid. Um, this is used for like insects and uh, pretty much killing them any on site. And then lastly, we got the cutter. Uh, this is a bug repellent. You spray this on yourself if you don't want to get butt bit by mosquitoes. So these are the six liquids that we'll be using. Uh, this is the Tiki Torch uh, fuel which will be sprayed into the candle itself. Um, so what we're going to do now is we're going to spray that. We're going to pour it in. All right. First we're going to do is take out the wick. Take out the cap on that. We're going to pour it in. All right, that should be enough. Put that back to the side. Put the whip back in. Lock it into place. Boom. All right. So what we're gonna do now is remove the items to the side. That way we don't have any issues when we are performing any of these stunts. All right. So we're gonna get our trusty lighter. Light the bad boy on fire. Woo! As you can see, it's lighting pretty well. Ooh, actually I shouldn't probably do that. I still got that Tiki Torch fuel on my, <laughs> my gloves. And if I touch the flame, I'd probably catch on fire. Wouldn't you say, Shane? Yeah, I'd say it, uh, absolutely. Absolutely is correct. All right, so like I said, the very first one is a tire and wheel cleaner. We was gonna see what kind of chemical reaction we can get out of it. Shane, what do you think we get out of this? Mm, maybe a mild or medium type of uh, reaction. I was thinking the exact same thing. All right, let's go. Shane, I think you're wrong. All right, anyways, let's move on to the next one. The next one is the unpeelable paint, which can be put, applied onto the vehicle. And if you don't like it in the near future, you can definitely just take it right back off. And it peels like nothing. Um... I've used this on my vehicle, hence why I got it. I've actually painted my wheels on my car black. It kind of gives it more of like a rugged look. Not that new car, shiny wheel kind of look anymore. It gives it like that rugged look for sure. Because this is Mate Black, which is one of my favorite colors, especially on the rim. All right, let's give it a go. Yo, Shane, did you catch that? Hell yeah, I did. It's like when I sprayed it. Like, the flames started coming towards the can itself. Mm-hmm. All right, I'm going to do it at a different angle. That way you, can just, you guys can see. Woo! That was neat, huh? I'd say so. So far, this has been really been up to the challenge. Uh, next one up is going to be the Roundup Bug Repellent. Uh, that was 
garbage. Okay. Otherwise, that didn't work. Um. Okay, let's go with the air duct vent cleaner. Um. No odor of neutralizer. Nice, nice, nice. Hopefully, we get some sort of reaction to this. I didn't really see much out of that. Jane, did you? Yeah, a little underwhelming. Unfortunately, it was. But hey, nothing, nothing can create a good fight like the peeled and unpeeled clothing coating. Okay, let's try the raid, guys. I got high hopes for this one. Woo! Nice. Yo, that was that was pretty sweet. Okay, I gave Raid a, a, a close second. Alright, and time for the bug repellent. Hopefully we get some sort of uh, chemical reaction out of it. I mean, if it was more of a continuous spray, it would be a lot sweeter. But if you're just spraying it for like split seconds, it's sweet and all, but at the same time, it can be way sweeter. It's not like the other two, but if it was like the other two, like these two, then it would be a lot sweeter. Other than that, that's pretty much it. Um, all in all, the winner has to go with the peeler. Peel and unpeel cup. Cup. That is pretty sweet. All right. This hunk of junk right here is the right headlight to my Ford Focus. Um, we're going to shoot the front of it. Shane, what do you think? Capital idea, sport. I love the idea. Uh, it has a really strong plastic exterior, so it's going to be pretty hard to explode or break with the BB gun. Um, if not, we'll just take it and smash it on the ground. Hopefully we start making something happen for sure. Right, Shane? You're right. Absolutely. All right. So let's try to prepare for this challenge. I'm going to put it right there. I'm going to move everything to the side. And then we got to get the BB gun. All right. Oh, yeah. By the way, Shane, you want to put these on? Yep. Go ahead. Put those on, Shane. Like I talked about in my last video. These are my safety glasses. Side shields on the side. They're still OSHA regulated. Alright, so like I said before, make sure the safety is on. That way, no accidents can happen during any of the filming of this video. Or, like I said, parental supervision is required. Um, you definitely don't want to use this by yourself if you're under the age of 18. Uh, you can't just go to the store and buy one of these unless you have an adult. Uh, if you're age of 18 or older, you definitely can buy one of these, but you definitely got to show your ID. It's like buying a pack of cigarettes. Um, you got to take precautions no matter what. Um, so let's get into the video, guys, for the second challenge. So I'm over here cocking it. Boom. And I released the, the safety, and then we're going to shoot at it. Um, Shane, I think it will be a little bit more wise if you stood behind me. Alright, fantastic. So. Alright, first shot. Where did I end up hitting it? I don't even know. Why? Because you can't even damn tell. Alright, let's go again. Hopefully one of those bullets or BBs don't ricochet hit the glass and breaks it, because that would suck. Alright, so I took like four shots at it so far. Maybe five. And as of right now, it's definitely holding up. I want to take a couple more just for the hell of it. What do you think, Shane? 
I think that's a good idea. I think that's a splendid idea. That reminds me. Shane, is that your water over there? Yes, it is. All right, fantastic. Yo, was that a blank? Nice. All right. So it looks like we didn't do much of a bat, much of a damage to the headlight as well. So what do you think we do to an object that doesn't break after like maybe five or six shots, Shane? Uh, slam it against the wall. Uh, it's more like the ground this time, Shane. Okay. So, here we go. Nice. After a couple of slams to the ground, it's uh, it's definitely not usable anymore. Shane, would you use this on your car now? Definitely not. Uh, obviously you wouldn't because you drive a Jeep, right? Right. I drive a Ford. This definitely wouldn't fit. But it would look sweet on your Jeep, though. Wouldn't you say? Yep. Yep, it's correct. Alright guys, it's been another uh, video we shot today. Thank you for watching and uh, please make sure to uh, like and subscribe if you want. Leave a comment. Tell me something that I could use to improve my videos or not or just criticize what I am, what I do, and everything else from there. Boom!